Okay, um, the presentation is divided in three parts. Uh, first, a little bit of history and introduction on auto home automation, IoT, actor, and so on. And, what, and the second part in uh, what I create, a small framework to handle these things all together. But yeah, and uh, you will see there are many other projects that my project is only one of the, one of the smallest that in, at the moment that exist on, on, around the world. The beginning was quite simple. No, probably in the 70s, in the beginning of the 70s, they start to like extend, start to think to control the uh, electric stuff. And we had some wire control based on the bus or, or over the, the, power, the power line. Today we have wireless, more or less wireless devices. And, but the idea is always the same. No, that you start to control the light. After that, you start to control actuator temp sensor. And today we are mainly control the entire heat system of the house. And yeah, we have atmosphere sensor, especially when Germany know that there are a lot of problems with the new house that has a low consumption of energy, but are completely closed, that you have to change your hair, and, and so on and so on. And most of the new building no, already integrates some of this stuff. But this is kind of old stuff. No, you can see this is uh, it's still, it's still sold. Well, you can buy. Uh, really, no, it seems uh, yeah, 70s, where you can control your device uh, remotely. In special way, in the beginning, was based on brand. No, you buy everything on the same brand. Then if you don't have the actuator, you can control. But as I said, today we have many, many other uh, devices. No, you have all, all the type of devices. And then we start to see some solution that are able to handle different type of devices. In the beginning was, well, probably the most famous is FAM in Germany, Open Hub as a huge community, open remote and so on. A central point that control all the devices, different type of devices. This is the change that we have seen. I made a similar presentation several years ago and I have to, and, and match it what I made several years ago and I have to say everything is changing. What we can see now that the uh, center control that you have in the house or no, that you can buy, now you can move in the cloud. No, you, you have a small unit in house, but everything is, is cloud-based uh, or cloud-hosted. Nest, Nest is, well, probably is wrong here, but Netamo, Netatmo or, or partially Nest is an example. Really nice product. No, this is open ar architecture, really, really well designed that you can fit all the stuff that you want with the drivers and different layer that's with OSGI runtime that you can also put something in runtime with a restart sometimes, sometimes you have, and you can build your control of your house. No, you can control Philips light through Koenig Siemens um, actuator and so on. Uh, Homematic, Bitcoins, and many others. But what is the concept? It's always on and off, nothing else. It's a sequence. It's a mainly a coordination. Today, we are starting to see the IoT. IoT is not, well, at the moment, it's difficult to see the border between two devices, but for sure, you have many more devices. You can build your device. You can put in the device more intelligent. The device can take some decision. Then we have, as I said, the photon that is 19 euros, 19 dollars, and you can embed in everywhere. Well, this is some specific, no. Um, but as I said, um, the photon started with thinking like Forbes, that Wi-Fi is in wide deployment, deployed. Now I've started to see also a bridge between Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, and, and uh, Bluetooth. But the important thing is the estimation for 2020 to have all around 25, this is trillion more. Sorry, 25 billion, 
billion of devices. That means, okay, a lot of devices that have to be controlled, that you can read data, and you can take, take information. That's my idea, or better, my impression is we have to collect, we have a small intelligence inside, we can distribute and this, this object goes around most of the time, or we will go around, we will not stay only in the house, and we can, and this is the new trend. Now, from this information, collect, analyze, predict, and help. No, that's, and this is the example of the nest. How many people know about nest? Well, more or less. Nest is a thermal sensor that tries to learn from your behavior. And then you, you, you can't say, okay, raise the temperature in the morning at 8, shut down at 9. No. It's try to learn. And this, I think, is the future of IoT. Okay. What we have today, we have like uh, Stockholm in the 19th century. No, the Stockholm city, I think, in the, yeah, at the end of the uh, 80, 90, well, probably 19th century, had a, a single tower with all the phone line. This is what we have today in the house, or what they want to build with the home automation. Your single unit, put all together. That's uh, completely centralized, where you have a lot of problem on availability, reliability, scalability. Also, to discover the service, you have to know everything. Also, flexibility, because no, at a certain point, you, you don't have any more space. For PC, it could be the RAM, CPU, or whatever. And also, it will be difficult to change some part without interruption or probably without breaks all, the, all the, the entire system. Yeah, and the last one that is always a, a long discussion is the protocol that we have to use. Then I start to think the actor uh, is, is a perfect solution. Um, yeah, not actor means by people or Actress, no, that, this, I want to be clear, no, I think, uh, how many people knows about actor model? Yeah, that's probably, we have to explain a little bit more. Okay, it's not new, it's a computer science, and try to solve the problem of uh, the deadlock or the, the, the philosopher, no, and how they try to solve the problem, to remove any shared state keep lightweight process, keep, no, implement a synchronous message, and as you probably already seen in more modern, but not so modern uh, language, use mailbox or, or, or message. Then mainly all your application are small process that talk with other through a message, completely independent, and then, then, then when I realized, because we yeah, the actor model, as I said, was defined several years ago, and I said, well, this process could be a device, or could be a sensor, could be an IoT that needs to talk to another one without share anything. And I realized that it was perfect for decentralized the system. You know, the, the system can talk to each other, you no. Know, and you don't need any centralized point. Could be also self-monitoring, can no, recover, can understand the failure. Kind of Minix, if you have seen the Minix, yeah, the idea was the reincarnation, when I see the reincarnation in 2004 on, on Minix. But it's really important the auto-discovery and self-configuration because the quantity of the data, the quantity of the device will be so huge that it will be difficult that you go for each single device to make the configuration. And yeah, the rest are more. Not works well like on, on device that has intelligence, but could be that we can reuse the, the, the device that we have, and this is a huge quantity of device, old style device. But already the old style device, this is my preferred one. This is a homematic. Homematic valve, and inside, uh, for example, this valve has different function. One is a 
put the position of the of the of the valve. One, the thermal sensor. One is um, um, close, um, shut down, and, and and open based on some other sensor. Mainly, what I want to say is, has already this device um, has a kind of channel per function, and then a function. Well, it's perfect to be an actor model, and as you well probably you can read, but no, you can see that there is okay status of the motor, uh, temperature, battery level, and and so on and so on. That all these stuff can be handled is a complete distributed way. In, in a bigger uh, idea, or expanded the, my idea is, okay, I can have a lot of actors that has a small function in my house, and they can talk to each other. You now, for example, okay, the sensor goes up, then communicate to the thermostat that the valve has to go down. Or the scheduler can change to the thermostat because was was some kind of program. No, the temperature outside goes up, then I can start immediately to uh, slow down the temperature because I know. Or if I have a light sensor, no, when I see the light, I can start to decrease the temperature. Or if the window, I open the window, I want to shut down the, the valve. Or, yeah, if it's night, I can turn the light, but if I don't see anyone that goes around, I can shut down. And, and so on. And also alarm system, you no know, control, I can control if there is CO2, then I can raise an alarm and I can open the window and can eventually shut down the power line because it could be dangerous or to try to prevent uh, emergency or rather to prevent uh, dangerous status of the, of the house. The basic, no, based on what I described, there is the message and the, and the actors. No, each element, each function, talk to each other through a message. Any question on that? It's clear, more or less. Okay, then implementation. I have the arbiter that that is the controller for actors. The first thing, because we have said that. Everything is based on the message. I have need to find where is the other actors. This is not for free. Well, I have to I have to look up the system. Then, what I create a service locator. You no, know, the service locator contains contains um, the information of the actors. When I found the f the service locator, I can retrieve the actor that I need, and then send the message. I can send the message to the first one. I can send after that when I receive the information that I needed. Could be that I have to send another message to another one. Or, or different actors subscribe to me to receive information. That when I change the state, I have to send information to some actor. How it works this part? Okay, the first is to find the register, you know, the lookup server. And um, it's possible to find through a zero conf or through a DNS. And DNS is for large environment because you can have multiple zones and then you can distribute your, your uh, lookup server that you can handle all the lookup server that you want. If you have a small environment, a single house with not many devices, the zero conf can, can work. This is only to the zero conf is only to find where is the locator. No, you you don't have any information on the actor. You don't have the address of the actor. It's only to find who stored the information. The second is to retrieve information. To simplify my job, I use console. Console is really really good. Small, works on 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 a Raspberry Pi, and yeah, it's fast, reliable has a high availability inside, and so on and so on. Then it's perfect for service discovery. No, you can also use a multi-data center, for example, distribute in two, in two houses that stay far away from, from not, not in the same building. Has a failure detection inside. Then if you lose one, 
you, you can receive a notification and start another one. And at the end is mainly a K value storage replicated across multiple, multiple instance. Then I don't have to care about replication. I don't have to care um, about the failure detection or better. I have a failure detection um, event. And another really nice part, export this information through a DNS interface. Then if you decide to go not through a zero conf, but through a DNS, you can point your DNS to console and console make, can make the, the um, resolution, DNS resolution for you. A small piece now, I, I talk about um, actors, how to retrieve, but uh, to prevent, to have a high availability, <coughs> the domain, I have a domain that the domain can be a house or small, small entity or big entity. In the domain, you have cell. In the cell, you have the, the actors. Each cell can contain the register. What happened? When you start a cell, the cell search the, the uh, registration service. If it doesn't, if doesn't found, find any registration service, start a new one. Or if you find that you don't have enough registration service, start a new one, and then start the replication of the information. The console is important because it contains all the information. Now, the first things that actor do is um, find the, the locator and find the list of the actor that has to be run. Select the actor that is not in running state, get the configuration of the, of the actor and start the actor and publish, and publish the address. No, that, that, that means if I turn off one Raspberry Pi, the other Raspberry Pi can see the actor is not no longer running and start the, the actors and change the address. In this way, immediately all the actors around the house can find the new actor. And then the, the process can migrate. No, that's mainly, the idea is to migrate the process. And uh, <clears throat> the process at the moment is really simple. That is not complicated. The state can be stored in console because console can guarantee, guarantee uh, the high availability because it has the replication system inside and multi-master and so on, then I don't have to care about the storage of the information. The only thing that I have to get <coughs> the status and then I start and publish that and now I'm running in another hardware with another IP. That's all. Protocol. Also a protocol I try to keep really simple. Um, everything is JSON and the protocol is the request. I keep the channel concept, but probably I will remove the command that I need and the data related to the command. The data is something that only the actor uh, knows the format at the moment. Yeah, and also the configuration is a JSON. Everything is stored in console. Try to see if the demo works, but first of all, yeah, first or last one. That's okay, you need more details. Was clear or if there is some part before to go on, if you need some, some clarification. Yes. Uh, so I have one question if you are integrating device systems. Uh, I think on each device you need uh, to run some software that represents the actor and has yeah. What? <clears throat> so do you have the different What I'm expecting that in the future I will be able to run the actor inside, and at the moment I have a bunch of uh, Raspberry Pi that make the bridge between the device that is not in enough intelligent. Um, yeah, the actor. There are different implementation. And then it's based on the configuration. Then what happened is the hardware knows the capability. Then when you list the actor that are, have to be run, match the capability. If it's able, because it has the hardware that is needed. For example, if you need to control, to control homematic, you need the, the antenna. 
No, you need a home MATIC protocol. Then you need the capability. Then if you have a capability, you can get and run the actors. And, and the actor, there are different actors. Then there are the class that you have to, do, you have to execute. What, what I didn't uh, at the moment is, is not, it's not done, but <clears throat> to store, now is Python based, there are a lot of discussion to move to Golang and so on, but the idea is to store also the code of the actor inside of the uh, inside of console. That means I don't need to create a distribution and when I, I need to update the software, it's simple, uh, a signal to the actor that have to, rest have to be restarted. That is basic idea, but my, well, my expectation that is in the future, yeah, I will have one actor here, more or less. Okay, um, we try, I hope. That's not good, yeah, not bad, not good, not bad, no. More or less, yes. Okay. What happened? Um, yeah, first of all, I started and I, through zero.conf, well, zero.conf, I'm looking for a service locator. If there is a service locator in my network. I didn't find any service locator, then I start a service locator, then I start the console. Then after that, okay, I start the console, I repeat the operation and I get because I publish that I am myself, but the process doesn't know because in a separate actor, then retry. Okay, now I found the service locator. I asked to the service locator the, uh, the configuration of this specific cell with the, list, with the list of the actors that have to be run. Then I get the list and I decide to start. That's for each actor, I get the specific configuration. Not for each actor, there is a, one. first is the list of the actor, and after that I have to catch the configuration of the actor. That means also the state. For example, if it's a term valve, and the state the last time was 70% uh, of the position of the rotor, I will start with the same position. And then after that I will recover, uh, if I have to change, I will recover from the thermostat. And now, okay, I'm waiting, that's all. Um, yeah, on the console is really simple. Uh, this is the configuration of the actor, demo sensor one. Yeah, you can see here the class that have to be executed. And then, okay, IO port six, that is as a, something specific of the actor. This is config, is understood by the actor only the implementation of the actor, then okay, the mode have to be Celsius, the channel, the communication channel with the, the device, because I'm expecting that the implementation of demo tempo sensor one is something related, I don't know, to, uh, yeah, on Matic or something like that. Then this is specific and yeah, there is also a, a, a small description. And this is based on the configuration and on the other side, I have another list. Well, so always configuration, sorry. Yeah. Okay. And in this part, I can get where is the, where is the actor? No, there is the IP and the port to communicate with the actor. Then, okay, one part of the console is the configuration and the other part is for lookup. Then, okay, now I, have to need, I need to talk with thermal sensor one, whereas for console I can get the list, okay, I can get the position. And <clears throat> I think I uh, can check. Demo sensor one, I can get, and sensor said 20. And now 17 because the demo is a random number that is returned. But on the other side, uh, we have, I have also a thermostat. That is that probably. Yeah. Yeah, because now I'm, 
I don't have, okay. I don't have a connection, then I have some problem. But um, you can see that on the other side, first of all, also in this case, I go through zero.com, I search the lookup, then I look in where is uh, located the actor, then this is the key that I have to retrieve from console, and the console said, oh, your actor is um, here. Is on, on the port with this address. And then I can send the message. And in case of the thermostat, I can also set the value. Now, if I read, now the value is 10. Okay, well, probably seems complicated. And I have to say no, absolutely is probably 20 line of code or less. This is the actor. This is a simple actor. Then you read and mainly, yeah, your code is what you have to do, right? Nothing else. Then you can use the library and whatever and you can control. More sophisticated actor that I didn't show is a actor that repeat operation or have to run periodically, that there are some specific actors, as if they are implemented in, in Pulsar, and then, yeah, you can periodically check and make some other operation. The next step is, obviously, uh, <coughs> make yeah, the system that's more intelligent on the configuration side, that, that's uh, inconsistent on the configuration and, and connect means if the, ter the thermostat valve are, are in the same room, probably have to receive the same data of the same thermostat that is in the same room that I don't know. I don't want to connect. I don't want to create the configuration. If I specify that you are a thermostat, you are in the room, that says the configuration has to be done automatically. Now, some, some of this logic, as I said, we have to move. I think the future of IoT is to move that the device has to be more intelligent and, and collect it. <coughs> collect the information, take the, the decision. Question? No. Any question? Yes. Indeed. Okay. Um, as I said, only few line is really, really simple. Uh, not so stable, but simple. And as I said, <clears throat> now I have inside of the channel, then uh, you can specify through the command the channel. I'm thinking to remove because probably doesn't make sense. And my implementation. Um, I'm started several years ago, then I have a lot of old hardware, then I have to recover also the old hardware. This is the reason why I started uh, in this way. And I have the entire light and yeah, uh, heating system based on Homematic. I have also some board based on Edison that's um, <clears throat> also like, like the Phantom has a photon has um, wireless inside that, but is more powerful. And uh, I have some external sensor. I have a box like uh, weather uh, that detect the, the speed of the wind and, and, and some other stuff. And I have a API Nano that is mainly a storage for music videos and other stuff. And now I start to integrate, yes, the music system in a better way to control based on on the live state or, or the present and, and other stuff. And I started to implement through Z-Wave uh, the power meter, the power consumption. Example, I, my, the problem that I have in my house, and most of the time my wife wants to turn on everything together. And I'm not able to supply, no. Then <clears throat> what I, I'm doing is, okay, I'm, I'm measure the, the power that I'm, I'm consum the consumption, the real-time consumption, then I check the device, and then I decide which device has to be turned off. The, the wash machine is turned off immediately because if you are watching the TV, you want to go to watch the TV. But if you have a wash dish, yeah, probably as the priority the wash dish machine compared to the washing machine. And, or the air condition has a priority on many other devices. And when you see that you have enough power to turn on or turn off, 
Um, I'm doing also a similar system in, in a house where I have uh, uh, sun solar, no energy from the sun. And that is really important because you have to use all the energy that you produce. Otherwise, you don't receive anything if you return to, to the power supplier or by the, the company. And then it's really important Then I turn on everything all the time. And then when I have the energy, I start to use uh, the energy that is produced by the sun. This is one, one of, the, of the system. And yeah, next step is, yeah, I have something in the car, something in the bike, and, and, and try to do what the nest do. No, to suggest today, because the weather is not nice, it's better that you go by car. And probably takes also, I don't know, the jacket before to go home or to go to the work. Um, there are many other projects. Uh, these are quite interesting based on the protocol and, and the logic. The ZOPC uh, is based in Amsterdam. They are using um, a Q mechanism, uh, zero MQ, and they are really, really fast and has a similar logic for auto discovery. And um, I, I like a lot of the, the, the project. And the matrix, the matrix is another interesting project. I want to show you a small thing. Well, uh, yeah, I will show you later. Uh, let me try. They have um, <coughs> implemented a multi-hole protocol that you can. Let me check. Probably I don't have enough connection. But you can check it all. Open point, a lot of open points. Security, first of all, that's security quite a mess on IoT. And <clears throat> I'm thinking to move to IPv6. Now there is also an IPv6 uh, auto discovery protocol. And all the restart actors at the moment is not completely done, and, or rather it's not completely stable. I'm thinking to move to the Golang, try to reduce as much as possible the communication. Now I'm user RPC, and, but it's an overhead because the, the, the uh, actor open a socket, then I can talk directly on the socket opened by the actor without and then, and, uh, the overlay of the RPC implemented by by Pulsar, um, I'm using Pulsar for, for, for all the project. And yes, um, another mess is to collect the logs. No, if your device goes, doesn't work, you don't know why, you don't have the log. You, have, you need some logs, and this is a, a problem. On, uh, also the alarm, no, the problem, no, the failure, then okay, if automatically you start on another node, you don't know that, that the first node is died, and you need to receive an alarm. You need to receive a notification that one piece is broken and something that take the, the replace is a yeah take the replacement. Um, there are thousands of video on internet. There are some nice, some ugly. I found quite interesting the explanation from yes Spark.io. That that's because we have the same idea. They try to bring intelligent in normal device like coffee machine or yeah, all this kind of stuff. And also Wunderbar um, try to create devices that uh, you, can, you can use and put where you want. There are some videos that could be, uh, you find it interesting, especially because they are able to explain, explain better than me what is the idea and what is the future that they have in mind. This IoT that's mainly for, for them connected to, to the cloud. That, that is the basic idea. That, that is the basic concept of Photon to, you know, to connect something in the cloud directly. For this reason, I think uh, they, are, they, are both by, they, yeah, they are both by Amazon. Question. Uh, start via and yeah. No. Okay. Um, I would like to go back a little bit to the beginning. Yes. Um, you were a bit fast talking about centralized and distributed distributions. Am I right? You're suggesting that we using a distributed way. 
comillas. Well, <coughs> yeah. Uh, because I, I think we are in the board and, and probably we didn't reach. Um, yeah, first we will reach 25 billion of devices. And in your house, now probably you can mount two or 300, but could be in five years that you have 1,000. Will be more complicated, yes. For this reason, I have the concept of the domain, small domain, because at the end, you will have a small domain to, to handle the, the stuff. So, physical layer of view. Um, if I need to, let's say, to reach the lights at the end of this room, I need to hop the message from the six hour or seven or eight or 100 hour points in between. No. Uh, it's not. not from my point of view, well, from my implementation, no, because you will find it directly the light, the address of the light, the actor that controls the light. If you need to turn on the light, you need the actor that controls the light. You don't need all the distribution. The no. Yes. This is the, the work of council. That Just saying that there are certain things when you talk about distributed solutions. But <clears throat> today, <clears throat> today is you send a message to the central point, and the central point sends the message to the actor. Exactly. So he can, he can have a look at the um, physical distribution of the network, of the wireless things. He can say, now it's your turn, now it's your turn, which is way easier than if we need to agree, which is what it is right now. Yeah. But as a center point, my, my idea is in the future, this element, you don't have to care. They have to find a way. The problem, the problem yeah, is how and also the delay. What, what is the main, main problem that I have? Um, for dimmer light, uh, today you have a delay of 100 milliseconds. That means you can see the step of the light. That's horrible. That's, the speed will be one. And the coordination, yes, as I said at the hand, at a certain point, my expectation is, okay, if I put a button here and with the light, by default, you have to be able to control all the light. That's, 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 the device has to be learned immediately. And after that, like in the Nest, depends on the usage that you have, create a profile of that. That is some kind far away. I, I know this is For for the for 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 the for physical one, well, today what happened or better what happened in my house, and I, I'm expecting in the future will be not so far. You will have different network, different, but physical network. No, that's probably no no way, no longer acquired. But you will have multiple protocol probably on different frequency, and then yeah, the center point have to make the bridge. No, in that case, you need the bridge. Which is a Only for that protocol. Well, this is, um, I, can, I can go back, yeah, one second. Um, go back here. This is mainly what I mentioned. No, this Raspberry Pi is the bridge and contains all the actors to control all 8300, no, what is 800, 303 megahertz, I believe, the home matic. And yes, Z, uh, Z Way has completely different, right? That I have another Raspberry Pi with actor inside that control the device because the device at the moment doesn't have the intelligence to receive, right? Then yes, at the moment is a bunch of small centralized system. If we want to see in this way, yes. Am I expecting that we will more in the future more, more, more close to device directly? But today is on. Uh, uh, first of all, I have the guy over there, but. Uh, no, and yes. Okay. No, because it's my domain. 
Um, but but is the name of the protocol of 25 years ago of Bangalore Olufsen for home automation. We I tried to find an agreement to have the specification of the protocol 20 years ago. I didn't find. Then I debugged the, the or better reverse engineering the protocol. <laughs> and yeah, but mainly everything start because. I was uh, I started to yeah reverse engineering the the bail link, the bail protocol, and I wanted I was a little bit upset with Bang Olufsen because they didn't release any specification to open to other devices. And I set up the the the, the site and published some some documentation on the protocol. But now is was as I said 20 years ago, at least. And also they have now another quite nice uh, yeah. Um, I like to switch to zero MQ, for example. And for now, I'm thinking the TCP is quite good. Uh, MTT or no other other more IoT protocol. I make some small tests, but I want to keep at the moment simple. You know that eventually everyone in two lines can change and see what happened. Uh, there are a lot of optimization. Now. No, I, I don't want. I don't think it's a huge. Project or a production project or whatever. That's mainly to testing and try and testing, try and change all the time without spend all the night on that. So I also have a question with you. Um, how do you arrange those cells? Do you sometimes make the house have rooms and then each room is a cell or something like that? I change all the time my mind because in the beginning the, the cell was a room and, and the domain was a house. And sometimes the domain was the room, and and I tried different to understand. Uh, also, because this has an impact on the configuration. Mainly, the idea is the cell is a room, but could be the entire house. Yeah, because I think the distributed topology could be there could be use cases for a more complicated topology with rooms and sensor booths in rooms and stuff like that. So that, for example, also that. Yeah, one one of the idea was also okay. The cells has to collect based on on uh, hardware capability. Okay, that you keep in the in the same cell uh, the hardware that have to handle the same type of communication. No, but didn't work. Then then try I try to mix up. No, okay, is the room. Then if you don't find, um, I have the domain that could be another act another. Cell then can charge the actor for this cell because the cell is not completely close to the to the room. Yeah, because what I, what, just to give a simple use case, maybe for this actor model, you could have in the room several sensors, and there's one master actor that knows them, and it pre-calculates some information out of this or some learning out of this, and then this can be fed into the sensor or some other device. This is um, mainly, um, I, as I said, because a little bit more complicated. Um, the um, recurrent, recurrent actor, you no, know, the actor that's kind of crunch up, right? That is executed all the time. This is collect information for several reasons, and you no, know, so for well, prediction of the weather and so on. I, I didn't present it. I remove. I removed this slide because in the beginning, um, uh, yeah, probably it was was a mistake. Um, the actor can represent everything. It's not a hard one. Yeah, and then I have an actor that's are, and that I want to avoid because I tried to figure out a generic actor, but uh, all the time I hit the physical limitation. No, because mainly today I have input actor, output actor, calculate actor, and so on and so on and so on. Like system that already exists. 
then I, I want to read off of the existing implementation. Then I, I try to not, because otherwise you, you take the same, the same way. Yes, but uh, the actor can be everything. No, that, that's um, the programmer. No, if you want to turn on the light at 2 and turn off at 3, this is a programmer and this is a generic actor without any physics stuff. Let's send the information that the, the temperature has to be 12. Doesn't care if it's not. That, that's, uh, it's, and propagate this information to the thermostat and to the valves and so on. Uh, yeah, you had a... Um, you said you want to remove a central decision-making system, but you still have one system that has calculation. It was someone who said the uh, system of what you the ones. For this reason, I use How console. Well, this is one of missing part, or but uh, because it's a, all the time a nightmare. The cache, you no, know, has a cache with a TTL. Then you have to, uh, yeah, have a small cache. You no, know, in, in real actor, have a, a cache, and time to time the cache is revalidated. You no know, actor revalidate the information that has for the actor, that the list for the address. The replication of the information is based by by console and is distributed. Yeah, what happened? Basically, have a cache. If you fail to reach, you check if it's still valid. And after one hour, anyway, you revalidate. This is mainly the, the cache algorithm that I have in place. But I don't like. I, I prefer to find, but I didn't find a system then. And this should be the console uh, mechanism. The console is able to receive or better notify to detect if a console agent goes down. Then search, have an actor that received the event, search in the configuration, all the actor that was connected to that, and remove and send the notification in some way, or make the invalidation. But this is, is a huge and, and now um, it's not, it's not. It would be simple with zero MQ. No, zero MQ, you keep open the connection, and then you can uh, invalidate all the stuff that you want. Yes, exactly, for this, uh, um, yeah, uh, oh no, sorry, when I started the actor daemon, I specified the class, class one is not able to run the console, for example, class two, yes. And after that, <clears throat> okay, if you are class two, you see that you don't have enough console, but you don't have enough resources because you have a lot of actor, you don't start, and, and so on. But also that has to be triggered a little bit. But yeah, that mainly could be, I put the class because I'm expecting an increase of power. And then at a certain point, if something die, you will have a weight, and then the people that has the height weight will, will take more actor than others. No, that's basically this, this is uh, the idea. But this is balance that, that um, is also, I don't have much time for that. Yes? Um, I read between the lines that it's kind of working projects, uh, projects you're working on. Uh, you recommend to try it out and if so, is there a website to go and check it out or what is the state of the project? Is it also open source or other body? Well, now is a playground, right? That probably is clear that is a huge playground. Uh, I didn't publish because I didn't find the time. I will do probably this month. That no, in summer it's not it's not true. In summer I have less time than than other. But uh, to publish at least uh, the basic stuff that I know that works more or less, and yeah, that people can start to play and and it is really simple. You can set up in a few minutes. I have to say and figure out. But as I said, there are many other projects that can be one. But if you want to test something, there is a basic, some basic element that you, if you want to be more concentrated in, in the communication on your device, and then you don't want to care about all the orchestration around, yes, it will be perfect. But perfect, well, depends what your goal. If your goal is to have a high, perfect solution, probably not, because it's not production really. 
Anyone want to try the wonderful actor model software? No. <laughs> Seems no. I think, uh, yeah, it's over. Thank you very much.